pair of young track and field stars from Hamilton have been making some noise in their young careers. Bryce Wilson and Andy Bird eat, sleep, and breathe the sport they love, pushing each other every day to get better and succeed. What makes it so special for them is the brotherly bond of two best friends. Not a whole lot of kids want to do track, and me and Bryce have always wanted to be good at track, especially him this year and me especially in the last couple of years. It's extremely cool. It, se it seems like we're, we're the best there is around here, you know. We've been competing good and g getting those wins for our, our school. We go to all these track meets together, you know, it's, it's one, two punch. A perfect way to put it, the dynamic duo has been remarkable this summer. Wilson, only entering his eighth grade year at Hamilton, needs to buy a bookcase to start collecting his medals. Both will be on their way to the AAU Junior Olympics in Des Moines at the end of the month. Wilson will compete in the 100-200 meter dash along with the long jump. Bird, entering his freshman season, earned his way through the shot put. I want to see how good this competition is. Because you know what, there's going to be a lot of people like me who are real fast. And it's going to be fun to run against them. It's a great feeling to be beating all these older guys and being, being in 1A little small school and beating all these guys. Right now, me and Bryce are working on a lot of form, getting our form down and keeping it that way. Like with me and shot put, I spin, I have to work on my footwork, where my feet land, how I release it. With Bryce, he always struggled with the blocks and he's getting a lot better at it. So right now, up until then, up until about a week left, we're working really hard on form, technique, getting it, keeping in shape, getting in the weight room. In the afternoon, we do two miles in sprint workouts and he does a little bit of a shot. You know, we help each other out, tell it, Tell each other what we're doing wrong. In the afternoon, we go out and run two miles together at the end of the day, six miles a day. I want to set an example for other kids because you don't see a, lot of, a whole lot of other kids in the weight room. You see a lot of high schoolers that are already in high school, juniors and sophomores, but you don't see a whole lot of eighth graders. There's only like three or four of us that go there consistently. And Bryce is out here every day working with me or without me whenever I can be there. He's running extra. He's doing extra stuff to make sure he's prepared for high school and for this uh, Junior Olympics in Des Moines. Both have lofty expectations for Des Moines as well as their future. And at the top of that list, making their parents and community proud of all their hard work. It's a good feeling when you win a track meet or you get second and you do really good to know that you're wearing the Hamilton singlet or jersey and that you represented your school well. well. My parents are always going to my meets and stuff. My grandparents, Randy and Mona and Brennan and, Brennan and Charlie, they always go to my stuff. And my Aunt Carenza, she always cheers me on. And my da cousin Dalton Hayes, they're always there for me. We just feed off of each other in a way that <clears throat> when one person succeeds, we want to succeed with them. So that <clears throat> when we go back to say from DeKalb to Hamilton, we can say we did it and we continue our hard work to get for the Junior Olympics and for his upcoming eighth grade track year and my freshman year. We're just gonna act like it's just one of these track meets. We're all alone, just worry about ourselves and worry about how, fa how good we can do.